There we go. He's got a bobber. Is he taking my bobber? There we go. That's a fish. That's a good piece of bluegill bait. I see. He about ate that little tiny hook. I don't know if I can get it out with my forceps or not. Ooh! He eat it. And of course my forceps is right there. Oh, come on, buddy. I want my hook back. I ain't getting that back today. I'm just gonna have to let him have that in the bucket. Beautiful. Or a tie hook. Always, if they do swallow a hook and them extra long shanks usually prevent that. But if they swallow a hook and you try to keep them alive for bait, just let them have it. It ain't that big of a deal. Just let them have it. And they'll stay alive longer that way. I always tie when I'm working with this ultralight line. I tie a trialing knot. It's just what I believe in. At him. Alright. Let's see if he's I can get the hook out of him. Alright. Bluegill. A little bait sized bluegill. So that's two of them. Got a big one and a real little one. See here. Get an erdin. All right, nice three. Morning's looking up. All right. This is a real quick way to catch bait. Come on, let go of my hook. Dang you. There we go. This is a real good quick way to catch bait if you don't throw them back in the bushes. Nope, nope, nope. Don't throw them back. Oh, we are on the struggle bus today, folks. I don't think that coffee has kicked in yet. Let my aerator get a kink in it. Struggling to catch a little fish. It's just not my day. But you know what they say about bad days of fishing and good days of work? Uh, well, that's the truth. Bonk. Gotcha. Nope. Got robbed. I mean, there's a dozen little bogey just looking at it. There we go. You, you took it. There we go. Then at the gene pool a little bit. You weren't so slick, was you, bud? Bless your heart. All right. That's number four in the bucket. I thought I'd see the day a bluegill would argue and be this unreasonable about taking a worm off a hook. But here we are. They just don't want to play. They are very, very reluctant. I think it's this hot, hot weather and whatever this algae bloom is. It may be lower in the oxygen level or something. That's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. And in Alabama, 
this is how you got to do it. If you're using bluegill as bait, you got to catch them on a rod and reel, which is finicky. There we go. Barely got him. That's number six or so. Gotcha. Oh, silly thing. You silly, silly, silly fish. Come here. Oh. All right. Unhook that. We still got worm. Go for a nerd. Go. That one took it under good that time. I'm wrapped. All right. Alrighty. I don't know what we're up to. Eight, nine. We'll call that number eight. I really like a quill float. There we go. Because they're real sensitive. You can see these little fish ain't big as a credit card. But as soon as they take it, you can tell. Okay. Let's go fish fish that don't know we're here yet. I think these have figured out that their friends are getting abducted. There's one. Got him. <sighs> That's a new one. Let's go take him to the bucket. Doobie doobie doo. All right. Let's see. Put that hook keeper right there. See, I mean, we got it in our bucket now. And that's a fair bit. That's, I don't know. Let's catch a few more. And sometimes what you can do, should have brought my little cooler too, but you can take this worm dirt and take you a little bit of it and you can just kind of chum with your worm dirt. Oh yeah, like that, and then we'll get that worm smell in the water with these fish, and uh, you cast up in the middle of it, and you kind of made your own little feeding frenzy. There's one just kind of bumped it right there. Move a little closer. Shore cover. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> that's a good one. I say, sometimes they just fool you and they fight real good. Look at that. There's a little bitty guy. Took that cork completely under. He hit that worm like it owed him a dollar. I've spent a lot of time catching these little bitty bluegill and, uh, Either a little 164th jig head or this little uh, true turn size 8 extra long shank hook that I got. Those are my my hooks of choice. And man, you cannot beat a quill float and a little ultralight rod. You can fish with a cane pole. I mean, you can catch bluegill with about anything. But something, something light where you can cast, it's just tough to beat. And that bobber is real, real sensitive. And they sell them. The only place I've ever found sells them local. And little quill bobbers is made from an African porcupine quill. They got a bit of outdoor addiction in Baymanette. 
Only place I've had. Oh, 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 we almost had a customer there. I stole it from them. Uh, Outdoor Addiction and Bayman out carries them. They carry a lot of. Oh, there we go. That's a bite. And that's a fish. Look at him. I mean, that one about ain't big enough to even use his catfish bait, but we're going to take him because I got some little one alt and two alt hooks. Let's put him on there. Doo -ba -doo -ba -doo. Oh, nope. You come back. That was about big, big enough for an aquarium. Oh. Let's see. In the tank you go. What a little pine straw. A little pine straw never hurt nobody. Oh, that's one I'm missing because I'm straightening out a tangle. That's a good little fish. We're going to let him fight a second. Look at him go. Oh, oh, get out the weeds. Oh, yeah. That's actually the biggest one we've caught in a second. There we go. Man. Really having to earn these today. That right there is a, uh, that is a good example of just how finesseful, finessing you can be with this little setup that I'm using. catch two more we're gonna leave this place leave these fish to their own devices there we go that was a cast right there I seen them hit the water oh all right it's addictive fishing for these he's barely hooked i barely got him in it's addictive fishing for them though when you can sight fish for them and you, you just sit there and you find yourself thinking well just one more just one more <clears throat> let's hook that bigger one Let's cast back out there because I don't think that's the only fish that's over there. Ooh, what a cast. Oh, that's a good one right there. Let's see. I got him. Oh. Yep. He ate it though. Okay, quit. You're gonna You're gonna hurt yourself, bud. All right. All right. That's my last one, I think. I think that's enough. I think that is enough of them for now. 